Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, clean you up there for a second. A little better. All right, so what we got today, Bill 305 in the shop. Cleaning, inspection, fuel filter change. Bam, bam. I'll show you guys all about it. Maybe a little bit of cleanup in there, all around, just making sure it's all heebie-jeebie, lemon squeezy. Um, also, I want to see if I can clean up that schmoo, just you know, by hand, and then give it a good once-over wash. Get all the uh, plant material out of the hinges and pins and all that jazz. But right now, right now, I got a uh, leaking fitting. We'll see what it is. If it's a busted O-ring or whatever. We'll see what I have to do to get it going. All right, stay tuned. All right, let's see what the problem might be. I think it was coming out of here. I relieved the pressure and all that stuff already, so it should be okay. Let's see where we're at here. Here we go, we're loose on that. I'm just going to take some stuff loose. Of course I got fittings for everything around here. There we go. Right. Come on now. All right, what do you guys see right there? Kind of hard to see. Let me take it out. Oh, yeah, that's a burned o ring. It is not happy. Not happy and not having it. Look at that sucker. It's. Yeah, it's kind of screwed. The other side is okay. All right, so I'm going to go clean that out, all that junk and schmoo. So the reason this happens is because sometimes I bang this part with, uh, you know, a stick or twig or something else. This bracket already got tweaked a couple times. This should be up here. Um, so when I tweak it, it gets loose, and then all the pressure just just busts this o-ring because it's loose and it's not a good contact seal and just blows right out so yeah let me clean it out and go from there all right ladies and gentlemen so i found another o-ring i don't know if you guys can yep there it goes but uh yeah i have a little uh pack of random o-rings that i keep from caterpillar thanks to the old man this other one is okay so i'm going to use that and uh we'll tighten this bad boy back up again all right Alrighty, might have to pull this guy back a little bit. Get something over there. I just want to get a good start on that. Come on now. There we go. Just want to get a good start on that guy. Okay, recheck the o ring, surface faces. get everything kind of situated in place before I tighten stuff down. Side. I don't know if I can get a good 
grip on that. Doubtful. But let's just see here. <clears throat> All right, that should do it. Let's just make sure everything else is tight. Sucker's tight. Make sure this is tight. Oops. Sure, could have used the tighten down. Okay. All right, I'm going to spray it down now. Good old brake cleaner. All right, so I believe that is fixed. I will check it later, but it's got a new O-ring, so we should be 100%. Um, yeah, now on to the other stuff, the other fun stuff. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a replacement filter here for this guy. Every 500 hours. Got a uh, drain tube. Comes out right there. Got a bucket right below that. Let's see if I can do this single-handedly. Got all these hoses in the way, of course. Ow. All right, let me put you down. Look at that prettiness. There we go. All right, so. All right, so she's dripping. I'll let it drip out of there. Don't want to make a mess. Give it time. All right. Gentlemen, so that is good and fully drained, I would say. Now, just loosen this puppy. We can tighten that back up. And there we go. Carefuling. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do is unscrew that. There. The other O-ring is right inside there. Let's get this sucker stood up like that. Sucker is in there good, so that's a good thing. It around, work it around. All right, so there's a whole bunch of dirt and crap in in there, as you guys can probably see. Do that. Come back with my magic sauce. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna hose this sucker off there. Clean that guy in there. Get an air blow gun. All right, so. So I took this hose off. I have a little uh, zip tie around that. Blow this on the bottom there. I like to clean it good and twice. All right, get rid of that O-ring. Well, you can leave that there, it doesn't matter. Okay, now, this guy, 
let's clean up this guy first. All right. So put this out of the way. Get this O-ring out of here. All right. Clean that sucker real good. Get in there. Ah, big hands. Don't work so good. Get it on the bottom. Clean this puppy. Sorry for out of frame funness there. All right. You see, there's some residue there. Left from the old O-ring. I'm going to see if I can get that out. Yeah, you can see that on the uh, towel there. Let's see if I can get some more. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. All right, get the bottom here. Just want to shove a couple more towels in there. Make sure it's clean on the inside. God, I just can't reach in there. My big old paws. There we go. Pull that out. The bottom here. Clean that up real nice. Okay. If this thing isn't super clean, you're not doing it right. Okay, more off-camera goodness. Sorry about that. Get rid of these guys because I don't need them right now. All right. So, what we got here, brand new O-rings, Caterpillar. Yeah. Let me open those bad boys up. Got to sharpen this knife, my God. Okay. Ooh, so fresh. First things first, put that guy in there. Bam, easy peasy. This next one goes in there. Might lean a little help persuading it down in there. Maybe. Come on now. You want to go home, don't you? Here we go. There we go. All right, I like to make sure it's seated down there. Cool. Then I will actually get a little bits. The tiniest bit of shoe shoe. So what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of this. Just a tiny dab will do you. Just put that right around there. Just the tiniest film. You can't even hardly see that. All right, and then I will screw this puppy on. Got a little witness mark there. We'll use that. Now I'll just put that guy right back on there. And we are ready for filter time. All right, let's go back up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here's the uh, new fuel filter. It's got little stars on it that go into little grooves there. Boom. All right, now I gotta thread this. Uh, well, I'll put that little hose in there first. Oh, there, there it goes. There that goes. All right. And get those hoses out of the way. Screwy dewy Louie. Oh. All right. A little bit of protesting. All right. She's good and tight on that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see how clean and white that filter is compared to this wonderful guy. Oh yeah, quite the difference. And I use uh, triple filtered, well, triple filtered. Oh, 
so magical. I have a filter on my uh, transfer pump and you know that comes from the fuel station, goes to a transfer pump filter, goes into my machine. So it is filtered and it still gets dirty like that. So there's one more filter and that is from the tank filter. It is back there. I'll uh, probably have a time lapse of me trying to take it out. Trying. Will. There's no try. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we got here is a cleanable filter that I got. It's an automotive, uh, like 100 micron, whatever. So this thing will be opened up and looked at. So we'll go from right, there. As per usual, I'm gonna clean off the outside here. Don't want any other crap in there. This is just the rubber hose that I put on the outside of it. Alrighty. So I forget if this is an Earl's or it's a, got a stainless steel screen inside, so let me get some wrenches. All right, so we got the wrenches. Simple, easy, open. All right. Now, there's just this side, which is the out. All right, so. And this is just simple, open, there's nothing else in there. It's just this guy. As you can see, there's a little bit of schmoo in there. You can see, maybe you guys can see the black stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that. Not focusing very well. So I'm going to blow that out. Take this O-ring off first. Alrighty. First I'm going to blow it in reverse. Oh, that did a lot already. Now, off camera. I'm definitely going to do that off camera. Mm, nah, I'm just kidding. So, all right. All right, so that's a 100 micron bronze uh, or brass bronze sintered filter. So this is for the bigger particles, all that stuff that I don't want in the uh, small one. So this is doing its job really well. Um, I like that a lot more than disposable filters. Um, less plastic waste. This is just, you know, you clean it and you're good. Um, so we'll just go from there. All right, putting this guy back on here. Okay, good. Now to clean out the housings. Ah, yeah. All right. Okay, so that is squeaky clean. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now, for this guy. All right. Sorry for doing that off camera, but yeah, so this guy is also clean. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of <coughs> fluid foam, not sponsor, on the fingerinos and just lube that guy. Because I want that sucker to come apart pretty easy again the next time. Alright, so we drop it in like such. Bam. So that is on the inside, and then this is the out. All right, so hand tighten that back together. 
Where's the other wrench? Of course, it's like missing. Where did I put it? Under a thing. Boom, boom. All right, and no need to go crazy. And there we go. So the filter has been redone. Now to put it back into service. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So I got the uh, rubber hose back on the outside to prevent vibration. And now we'll put it back together. Together. Mm-hmm. Out. All right, ouch. Boom. And big old boom. All righty. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to do now is turn on the ignition, but not start it. And let that fuel filter fill up. Check for leaks. It's just a little push pump right there, a little round thing. And as you guys can see, slowly filling up the uh, fuel. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we're going to wait a little while. Just let it soak in and fill up. Let's make sure there's no leaks anywhere. I don't see any. We'll go from there. Give it a good spray of this good stuff. And then I love this brake clean and then blow it off and watch. Alrighty. Cool. All we'll right, ladies and well. gentlemen, I let it prime for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and turn it off. And now I'm just trying to start it again. It'll probably die out. Hopefully not, but it does, and it's okay, because it's a common rail system. Alrighty. And there it died. Alrighty. Just gotta prime the air out. It might take one or two, two of those uh, crankings to uh, start it up. Sometimes it's worrisome, but I've had it, you know, every time I change a fuel filter, it happens, so it's not a big deal. Oh, there we go. See, it's just bubbles, just bubbles. So the next time it should just start right up. So not to worry, everything is still fine. And there we go. Oh, no, nope, sometimes it doesn't like that. All right. And somebody's trying to call me, of course, which is okay, because I'm not going to answer. It's not that I don't answer, it's just I'm busy right now. Try it one more time. All right. And I'm going to rev it up the next time just to do it. Woo! She's almost there. Got mosquitoes flying around. Oh yeah, so much fun. Right. Oh, she still got a lot of air up in there. I hate this auto idle that comes on. I wish I could just leave it on the revs. All right, come on, come on. Let's do this thing.
that should do it. All right, that ought to do her. Yeah, sometimes it's like, why is it not starting? But it's okay. All right. Yeah, she's looking good. Yeah. Perfect mundo. Now I get to reset the uh, fuel filter. As you can see, right there. So, let's go to that. Let's see. Maintenance info. Fuel filter. Wow, I did it before the uh, time. Tank filter. Okay, okay. Boom. Fuel filter. Okay, okay. And boom. All right. So. Now that won't bug me no more, and uh, that's changed. So now to clean the sucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna clean out some radiator goodness. I got this, uh, what do they call this, uh, air comb. And it's got little holes right there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but it uh, shoots angles, or, or angles the air at, right, at a right angle, 90 degrees, so you can get behind radiator. So you can see the radiator right there. You can get behind that. All right. All right, now I turn it around and go this way with the engine fan helping me. I also watch for any other dust coming out. Uh, that tells me the radiator is as clean as it can be if I don't see any more dust. Gentlemen, what I like to use for cleaning is Pro 50. Works pretty good. I'll show you what I do. What works, kind of. Uh, I've gotten a recommendation of tubbo towels, but that seems a little wasteful for the uh, towels inside, so you use them and unuse them. So this is a more eco-friendly uh, way for me to clean the All right, what I like to do is use old mostly used shop towels clean it up put it inside oh yeah that's the good stuff just to clean a little bit off that jazz got a uh, trash can behind there get all this garbage out of here plant material all right. Okay, so let's clean that stuff off. A little overdone. See, old shop stuff. Old nasty. Give the cleaner a chance to work. Here. More crap. All right, so once I get cleaned up, I'm going to do that all around here, all around the boom, and try to clean it all up. So I'll show you guys the results after.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we got moved into the shop here and got this sucker pretty clean, gotta say, you know, not too bad. Nice and squeaky. Don't want to leave too much residue up here. So I'm drying it by hand. But yeah, so this Pro 50 really works super, super, super well. And it also stings the hands if you put it on your hands and arms and sensitive skins and stuff. So I would recommend watching out for prolonged exposure. Also, do not let Pro 50 dry on paint because it will dull it up. It'll dull it up in a hurry. So it's always good to do a little wipe down. Make sure most of the good soap suds are gone, these. Got to clean the windows. I'll do that again. And I will. This, this side I didn't clean as good. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it turned out real well. Real well. Real good. So, now I'll be proud to look up my machine again once I look out of the operator cab. I don't know what the heck that was. But now I can also tell what are paint chips. And what was grease spots because you know i already fixed stuff like that there's some more stuff over here that i'll probably try to fix we'll see i mean it's a high work area so we'll see when we get there but uh yeah now will be a full greasing of the machine and uh just a look over so all right all right ladies and gentlemen so we got this sucker clean i got a new shirt on it was too sweaty so we got this sucker clean. I did a little bit of painting, a little bit of, oops, still tacky there. But uh, over here was, you know, kind of uh, loosey goosey, uh, no more paintsies. But yeah, so I just, I just touched things up. That's why I cleaned this machine like I do. Um, checked it over, all this stuff, globs of grease. But yeah, there was a uh, nice old scratch right there that I got rid of. I just ground down a little bit. Also some little spots over here. I just dabbled, you know, just touched it up. But yeah, you can see how scratchy this sucker is. Also, I don't know if you guys can see the little swirl mark. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so try to keep the sucker clean. But I get out there and I get it dirty right after. No problem. Um, but yeah, I clean it so I can see the rust spots. Don't want my stuff rusting. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, clean machine, ready to get dirty. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It might be a, a little bit on the longer side, but uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. All right. Aloha.